Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 927 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, HUT8 has published its January results, Clean Spark has reported on its quarterly financials, and Mawson has broken ground on its new mining site. But just before we get into the news today, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Hut8 Mining Corp., which trades on the NASDAQ as HUT, has published its production and operations results for January 2023. Some highlights include the mining of 188 bitcoins, making for a total reserve balance of 9,274 bitcoins as of January 31st, as well as the announcement of a merger of equals with U.S. Data Mining Group, Inc., doing business as U.S. Bitcoin Corp. or U.S. BTC. Jamie Leverton, the company's CEO, said, quote, We have been intentional and strategic in pursuing our HODL strategy. By building a large, unencumbered stack, we have afforded ourselves the optionality to strategically use a portion of it to cover operating expenses rather than having to seek other financing options with less attractive terms. I am confident that selling production while we focus on closing the merger with USBTC is the right approach, as we expect to create a strong self-mining, hosting, managed infrastructure operations and HPC organization in the long term. End quote. Next up, Clean Spark Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ as CLSK, has reported its financial results for the three months ended December 31st, 2022. Highlights include revenues of $27.8 million. This is a decrease of about $9.3 million from the same period a year prior and total current assets of $21.2 million. The company's CEO, Zach Bradford, explains, quote, We have reliably grown quarter over quarter as we execute an operational strategy that we believe makes us one of the fastest growing, most reliable, and most efficient publicly traded Bitcoin miners in North America. While we faced headwinds due to depressed Bitcoin prices during most of our fiscal first quarter, we persisted and grew. Our average hash rate rapidly increased, outpacing global hash rate, and we mined the most Bitcoin ever in a single quarter. End quote. Lastly for today, Mawson Infrastructure Group, Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ as MIGI, has announced the breaking of ground on its latest Bitcoin mining operation in Sharon, Pennsylvania. According to the press release, the site's first six modular data centers, capable of holding and operating up to 3,528 ASIC miners and handling approximately 12 megawatts, have been installed. Liam Wilson, the company's COO, said, quote, We are delighted to have broken ground on our Sharon, Pennsylvania facility, and to have taken delivery of the first six modular data centers destined for Sharon, capable of delivering 12 megawatts of power to our miners and holding about 12 megawatts worth of miners. This step forward is further proof of Mawson's push to deploy infrastructure and energize through 2023 and to achieve our previously stated targets. We look forward to continuing to communicate operational updates throughout 2023. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, 
Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. This podcast was sponsored by AppTech Payments Corp. AppTech is an innovative fintech company whose mission is to deliver a better way for businesses to provide their customers with immersive commerce experiences. For more information, visit apptechcorp.com. AppTech trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol APCX.